Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Supernatural. So, I guess first and foremost, I just wanted to start off this video basically uh, just saying uh, thank you to you guys for uh, such a lovely um, and I guess excited uh, response to the first two reactions. Um, you guys seem to be <laughs> really um, happy that uh, I did choose this series. Uh, like I said, and I believe the first reaction, I chose it actually a while ago, but I had to wait until a time where I felt like uh, it could open up a slot on my channel and and hold that slot for such a long time. So uh, I'm really, it, it means a lot that you guys are, are excited for me to get into this. Um, I did like the first epi two episodes a lot, so uh, I'm excited just to see what's in store for the rest of the series and the season. Let's get into it. Oh my god, is it gonna be like a creature in the water or something? Oh my god, it's like Jaws. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, she's gonna get in! It's like I don't want to look, but I want to look. <laughs> Is a bunch of blood gonna pop up? Oh, I guess not. Maybe she didn't get eaten. Maybe she just got sucked under and drowned. Not that that's better. <laughs> People don't just disappear, Dean. Other people just stop looking for him. Wow. I'm sick of this attitude. You don't think I want to find out as much as you do? Yeah, I know you do. It's I'm the just... one that's been with him every single day for the past two oh, years. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, here we, we go again. Day. Oh, wow. Dean, I uh, could... <laughs> oh, no. She was about 100 yards out. That's where she got dragged out. What about your father? Can we talk to him? Look, if you don't mind, I mean, he didn't see anything, and he's kind of been through a lot. Like what? I mean, I know, like, it, it's, I, didn't, I just didn't know if there was... No, no I'm sorry, but... Sorry, and I know... <gasps> <gasps> sorry. Gentlemen, this is my daughter. Andrea Barr. Hi. Hi. They're from the Wildlife Service. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were in the Wildlife Service. Would you mind showing us? Oh, <laughs> Dean. You want me to walk you two blocks? Not if it's any trouble. I'm headed that way anyway. Kids are the best, huh? Must be hard with your sense of direction. Never being able to find your way to a decent pickup line. Oh my god, I love her! She's my favorite! I love kids. Name three children that you even know. Oh, I live for her. For that, uh, yeah, I already lived for her. But you know. six more spread out. Over Christopher Barr was Andrea's husband, Lucas's father. Apparently, mm -hmm. Lucas was on a floating wooden platform when Chris drowned <gasps> two hours before the kid got rescued. Oh no! Why did I say hi? You d you didn't wait for her to answer. I don't know exactly what happened to your dad. I know it was something real bad. Aww. Or maybe you don't think anyone will, will listen to you. Or, uh, will believe you. Aww, I want you to know sweet. that I will. This is my family. Alright, so I'm a sucky artist. I'll see you around. Folks. I, you know, I, I wasn't gonna say anything, but just... Don't quit your day job. Or your night job. Or... Whatever hours they normally have. Said a word. Hey, sweetie. Thanks. Okay. Okay. A clue. You should probably eat some. Wow. I want to make some dinner, okay? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? No! No, 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 no,
water's so dark. You don't know what's in there. You don't know what's okay. Okay. We, 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 we. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Don't lose your hand. Don't lose your hand. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? Dad, get dad, hello. Get off of the chair if you don't want to lose your other kid. Is he dr is he are you drowning? Oh my god! Guys! Oh he's not oh it went away. The fuck was that? So <laughs> my heart so we can rule out Nessie. Will Carlton's dead. He drowned? <gasps> yep. In the sink. I don't know. He fucking Water died? Wow. We're from the department. I don't care who you're with. I'm answering enough questions today. Okay. It's worse than dying. Yeah. Okay, but I think there's something more there. I think the thing he's not telling us something. Mm hmm. The son, I guess. Possibly kind of trust him if he gave him a picture. How did you know to draw this? Look at his other drawings. I fit. What is that you know bad black hole happened? thing? See, when I was your age, I saw something real bad happen to my mom. Then I was scared too. I know she wanted me to be brave. Oh. I think about that every day. And maybe your dad. Should be brave too. <laughs> yeah, that bike is important. Thanks, Lucas. He keeps dry drawing it. See this church? I bet there's less than a thousand of those around here. Oh, college boy thinks he's so smart. <laughs> he always gives him shit. What you said about mom. No big deal. Oh God, we're not gonna have to hug or anything, are we? It first of all, it is a big deal. I don't love Dean's denial that like nothing's ever wrong. <laughs> Therapy, guys. Therapy. Therapy. Did he disappear from here? I mean, from this house? He was supposed to ride his bike straight home after school. Who's the, what's the other name? Peter Sweeney and Billy Colton. Mm hmm Is he just gonna like jump into the water and Oh my god! Did he see like Dean die or something or something with the lake? And that's why he's scared. Oh my god. I'm emotional. That seemed like he was trying to it's warn him, so right? Clear. I don't know. You I see that's what I felt like. Something. I can arrest you for impersonating government officials and hold you as material oh. witnesses to Bill Carlton's disappearance. Okay. Or you get into your car, you put this town in your rear view mirror, and you don't ever darken my doorstep again. Mm -hmm. You don't have to point at Sam Point like that. Sounds good. Wow, he's very aggressive. Oh, girl, don't take a bath. Oh, no, 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 not Amy Acker. Don't do it. Oh, no, she's, no, no, no. She's going to get sucked under. I just don't want to leave this town, though. I know the kid's okay. Oh. Unless well, you don't with my brother. <laughs> That's cute, Shut though. Up. Oh, no. Oh, God. No, it's going to. No, 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 I'm so scared. Oh, God, what is it? It just look. oh. Oh, my 
god, kid. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, save her. At least Dean gets the opportunity to save her while she's naked. That's terrible. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Never take a bath again. Jeez. There was this place. And it's in. It's in. It said, come play with me. Oh. <laughs> Aha! The bike. Put the gun down, Jake. How did you know that was there? Oh, uh, he's got a shaky hand with that gun. Peter? Go to your room, sweetie. Now, and lock the door and wait for me. Don't come out. Don't turn on any water. What the hell are you talking about? You, we need to find the remains, salt them, and burn them into dust. And tell me you buried Peter somewhere. Tell me you didn't just let him go in the lake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dad, is any of this true? Oh, no, 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 no. no. They're liars and they're dangerous. Tell me you, you didn't kill anyone. Peter was the smallest one. We always bullied him. But this time... Lovely. It got rough. We were holding his head under the water. <gasps> we didn't mean to. Oh my! But we held him under too long, and he drowned. Oh my god. We need to get you away from this lake as far as we can right now. <gasps> Lucas! Oh no! Oh, that's terrifying. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. A Dean's got him. I bet. Oh. That's really sweet. <laughs> um, I know that I preached this a lot so far in this show, but uh, she's gonna need therapy. Yes. It's just gonna take a long time to sort through everything, you know? I bet, girl. You're gonna be talking now. This is a very important phrase, so I want you to read it back for me one more time. Step That's right, bye-bye. Wow. Dang. <laughs> Okay, so I have quite a few things, I, I guess, to, to say about that episode. I really, I really loved it. I want to say, so if you guys watched my first um, reaction, you heard me say that there are a handful of episodes within this first season that I did watch a really, really long time ago. I'm going to say... If I knew Amy Acker was a guest star, this might have been one of the ones that I watched, but I didn't remember it at all. So maybe I didn't, but the, the possibilities there. That's, that's how long ago it was. But anyway, um, okay. So, uh, I mean, love seeing Amy. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the entire entirety of, of the Whedonverse shows and she is just a phenomenal actress and so lovely. Um, a lot of um, things, uh, TV scenes that I was growing up um, watching, uh, or I was in a puddle of tears because of her. So, <laughs> um, 
phenomenal. And so that was just uh, an added bonus, obviously, with this episode. I, I really loved seeing her just in general. Um, yeah, so uh, I really liked a lot of aspects. I thought that this was a fairly emotional episode uh, when it, um, you, you know, obviously it, it wasn't the most heart-wrenching thing I've ever watched, but when you kind of think about her character and what she's been through, I feel like it's just really kind of um, <laughs> just awful uh, losing her husband due to something that um, her dad did. And I have to say, I, I had a... It was tiny, but it was there kind of sympathy for the dad. Not that you should, uh, like, not to have a ton of sympathy for bullies or anything like that, but for something that you did when you were a kid to really go after your family and go after everything you care about. Like, now, nah, I, I don't know, I just feel like that, you know, and as soon as he seemed to realize um, that what Dean and Sam were saying was true, he like sacrificed himself to save his um, his grandchild, which was I felt like that was that was pretty emotional. Um, and just to for her to have to deal with the fact that she's just has lost all of this is is. She has her son, which is great. Um, I love that Dean said, look out for your mom, because I feel like that um, they'll have a really strong bond going forward. Or maybe I just hope that they, they do. Um, but I loved the focus uh, in this episode um, on um, what Dean went through. Uh, I think I touched on it maybe, oh, I forget which, which post-episode thoughts of the first two episodes. But... Um, it's kind of interesting to see how Dean and Sam have kind of coped with everything um, that has happened to them. And it's obviously very different experiences. And one of the main reasons that it's very different experiences is because Sam was a baby. You know, he didn't have that bond with his mom, so to speak. Um, and he didn't have that... Um, you know, um, just a relationship with her, uh, like Dean at that time possibly did. Um, you know, uh, Dean was also very young, but he, there was something that he, he had probably knew her, kind of knew her personality, knew kind of who she was. And that just got taken away from him. And for him to witness a lot of that is, is, um, very difficult for him to go through and oddly enough not it not in the same way and obviously not at the same age or anything like that it's kind of sam's kind of going through that right now you know with what happened to jessica now i don't know how long he was with her um they seem to have a fairly s serious and loving um relationship, which entirely makes sense why Sam is not very interested in women like Dean seems to be. Uh, I think uh, Sam had possibly what what he believes um, at this point to, to have been a really, really great woman, and she died possibly, and, and very quite possibly because of something that's attached or having to do with him. So I genuinely think Sam's going through a lot right now. And he's got this kind of tunnel vision of like, let's find out because I want to find out what the fuck is going on so he can kind of um, cope with that. And I like the fact that they, they're kind of touching on the fact that Dean sort of had to deal with that, but at a much younger age. And obviously with, with his mom instead of, you know, somebody uh, he was he was with. But I um, I like that we're kind of seeing how trauma can kind of uh, manifest in different ways and, and people cope in very, very different ways. Um, and it was nice to see Dean kind of relate uh, to the kid 
and um, because I, from the little bit that I've seen of the first three episodes, Dean doesn't seem to be somebody who wants to share or open up um, or anything like that. Um, he's, he has a, he's got a really bad aversion to hugs because I think that was the second time that I've heard him say like, oh, what do you want to hug now? Or something like that. Like he doesn't, he's uncomfortable with feelings, people. He's uncomfortable with it. And he masks it in a way that it's, you know, I'm too cool for feelings, but like you're uncomfortable with feelings. And I feel like at some point during the show, he's going to get confronted with a whole lot of feelings and he's going to just have to deal with that shit. Okay. Anyway, therapy, guys, therapy. We're going to, we're, <laughs> all I want to do is sit Sam and Dean down and be like, I'm, I'm not a therapist, but you know. Have them talk it out a little bit. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, but yeah, I really, I, I liked the focus on that. Um, I like that it seems like we are, you know, obviously each episode seems to be dealing with a different monster, spirit, ghost, whatever. Um, but we are getting kind of some very strong moments that are developing the characters and letting us all know what they are going through uh, mentally, emotionally, and all of that as well. I really like that, that, um, that that's a, um, a part of this as well. Um, I, uh, um, I'm, I'm trying to like, I did have a thought randomly, um, that, uh, when they were talking to the cop, and I didn't think it was the case here or anything like that, but it was a thought. I'm going to find it kind of interesting if at some point they go to investigate, like, a disappearance or whatever, and it turns out that it's just, like, some crazy psycho killer human being and not something supernatural. I find that, I've, I would find that very interesting to see how they react to that. Um... You know, because they're almost always so sure. And there's a ton of evidence so far um, in, in a lot of these cases that um, it is something supernatural. But I think it would be interesting if it ever kind of turns out to be maybe something else. Um, anyway, I'm just a uh, random thought I had while watching this. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed this episode a lot. I thought there was some really kind of tender and emotional moments and um it, uh, dean seems to be uh scoring with the ladies that he helps uh you know two for two at this point um we'll see we'll see what happens in episode four will it be three for three <laughs> just, just something i'm noticing oh, just, they save the day dean gets a kiss and then they're on their way. It seems to be the formula so far. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.